In this video lesson, we're going to learn how to streak a blood auger plate and place a Taxo A disc containing the antibiotic bacitracin on the plate. This is the classic test for identifying Streptococcus pyogenes, the bacterium that causes strep throat. So the first thing we have to do is streak our blood auger plate for isolation. So we start by removing the unknown bacterium. So we sterilize our inoculating loop for 10 seconds and the Bacto incinerator first. Then we take our culture of unknown. We're going to stick it in the auger to cool and scrape off a little bit of the bacteria. Now we're going to spread that out over sector one of our blood auger plate by dragging it back and forth. After we cover sector one, we sterilize the inoculating loop for 10 seconds. We stick the loop in the edge of the auger to cool. Now we're going to rotate the plate so the bacteria in sector one that are at 12 o'clock are sitting at 9 o'clock. We'll take our sterile inoculating loop and drag that through sector one two or three times and spread that out over sector two without dragging it through after the first couple of times. Then again we sterilize the inoculating loop. We stick it in the auger to cool at the very edge. We rotate the plate so the bacteria in sector two are now sitting at nine o'clock. And we take our sterile inoculating loop. We drag that through sector two a couple of times and spread that out over sector three. Being careful not to touch sector one. And since this is blood auger, once we've streaked the plate for isolation, we stab the auger a couple of times in each of the three growth areas so that some bacteria grow under the auger and that allows us to see more hemolysis faster, especially since certain hemolysins are inactivated by oxygen. So uh, once we've spread the bacteria in sector three, we just go straight to the auger, do a couple of stabs in each of the three growth areas. and we've streaked the plate for inoculation, we can now sterilize the inoculating loop. And now we're ready to place on the uh, Taxo A or Bacitracin disc. And it's called an A disc because it's used to identify group A beta strep, which is Streptococcus pyogenes. We're gonna place the Taxo a disc in the center of sector two. So we raise the lid. Um, this is designed so that when we push down on the handle here, that will eject a disc. So we hold that over where we want it in sector two. We gently push until the disc comes out. Then we're going to take our inoculating loop and use that to touch the disc so it makes good contact with the auger. And at that point, the blood auger plate with the A-disc can be incubated upside down at 37 degrees.